Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For today's video, we are going to solve problems involving rational algebraic equations. As I've mentioned in one of my videos, having knowledge or knowing the concept of something is not complete unless we apply them in real-life problems. Solving such problem enhances one's mental skill, develop logical analysis, and boost our creativity. Also, by answering word problems, we will understand deeper that mathematics is more than just an abstract thing. It is the visualization and preparation for reality. Moreover, the process of solving involves series of steps. First, we need to read and understand the problem. Here, we may read the problem several times until we have fully understood it. Second, plan out. Determining what is asked in the problem and then set a variable to represent the unknown. Also, this includes illustrating the problem and writing an equation based on the condition presented in the problem. Third, carrying out the plan. This is the solving process. Be sure to apply your knowledge and skills in solving rational equations. Lastly, check your answer if it satisfies the given condition in the problem. Now, let us apply these steps in our first example. This one is a work problem. A tank can be filled by pipe B in 20 minutes more time than pipe A can fill the same tank. If both pipes are open, it takes 24 minutes to fill the tank. How long will it take each pipe to fill the tank? Before anything else, try to ask yourself if you understand the problem. If not, read again the item. Once understood, we may now illustrate the problem. Here we have a tank, more likely a water tank with two pipes connected on it. According to the problem, pipe B can fill the tank 20 minutes more time than pipe A. This implies that the sizes of two pipes differ. Here we expect that pipe A is larger than pipe B, since the condition states that pipe B takes 20 more minutes to fill the tank than pipe A. The longer the time, the most probably the smaller the pipe is. Next step, we will now represent the unknown using a variable. Here we will assume that the variable x will be the time it takes pipe A to fill the tank, and x plus 20 will be the time it takes pipe B to fill the tank. After this, we will now use the information stated in the problem to form our working equation. Here, we will first construct a table to better see the relationships of the given. For the first column, let's say this is for the rate of the two pipes A and B. Earlier, we assumed that X is the time it takes pipe A to fill the tank. So, representing the rate, we will write 1 over X. 1 in the numerator is for one complete work or the tank full of water. For the second row, pipe B, the time stated in our assumption is x plus 20. So it will be one complete task over x plus 20. Next, we will have the second column. This will be for time in minutes the pipes will be open. In the problem, that is 24. And for the last column, to know the part filled by each pipe, we are going to multiply the values in the rate column and time column. For pipe A, 1 over x times 24, that is equal to 24 over x. For pipe B, 1 over quantity x plus 20 times 24, the product is 24 over quantity x plus 20. Now for the working equation, we will add the part filled by pipe A to the part filled by pipe B, then equal to 1 for one complete work. Equation will be 24 over x plus 24 over the quantity x plus 20 equals 1. Solving for x, we will get first the LCD, that is x times quantity x plus 20. Multiplying this to both sides of the equation, 24 over x times x times quantity x plus 20, variable x here will be cancelled out. 
product will be 24 times quantity x plus 20. Then plus 24 over quantity x plus 20 times the LCD. Here x plus 20 will be cancelled out. Thus, the product is 24x. For the right side, 1 times quantity x times x plus 20, that is equal to x squared plus 20x. Next, we will evaluate the left side of the equation. Here, we will distribute 24 to the binomial x plus 20. 24 times x is 24x. 24 times 20 is 480. Then, plus 24x equals x squared plus 20x. After this, we will transpose all the terms to the right side because that is where the quadratic term is positive. It will be 0 equals x squared plus 20x minus 24x minus 480 minus 24x. Combining like terms, 20x minus 24x minus 24x Difference is negative 28x. Equation now is x squared minus 28x minus 480 equals 0. Getting the factors of this quadratic trinomial, those are quantity x minus 40 and quantity x plus 12. By zero product property, we have x minus 40 equals 0 and x plus 12 equals 0. Now transpose all the constant terms to the right side. Values of x are positive 40 and negative 12. Here notice that the value negative 12 cannot be a solution since there is no negative time. Thus, we will only consider x value of positive 40. Therefore, pipe A can fill the tank in 40 minutes. For pipe B, we will use the assumption x plus 20. 40 plus 20 is 60. Thus, pipe B can fill the tank in 60 minutes or 1 hour. For our second example, this one is a motion problem. An airplane can fly at a rate of 500 kilometers per hour in calm air. It can fly 2,575 kilometers with the wind and fly 2,425 kilometers against the wind with the same time. Find the speed of the wind. First, let us try to visualize the problem. Here it says that an airplane can fly further if its direction is the same as that of the wind. Also, the problem asks for the speed or rate of the wind. Now, for our assumption, we will let x be the speed of the wind. 500 plus x will be the speed of the airplane when flying with the wind. Here we added x because we expect that the speed of the plane will increase relative to the speed of the wind. Meanwhile, we let 500 minus x be the speed of the airplane when flying against the wind. Next, we will organize all this information in a table. Here it is important that we know the formula for the distance. That is given by d equals rt or distance equals rate times the time. Constructing two rows, the first row is for the data of with the wind, second row for against the wind. For the second column, we will write the distance traveled. According to the problem, the airplane can fly 2,575 kilometers with the wind while 2,425 kilometers against the wind. For the third column, we will supply the rate or speed of the airplane. In our assumption phase, we say that the speed of an airplane when flying with the wind is 500 plus x, so we will write that here. For the next row, we will write 500 minus x, that is for the speed against the wind. After this, we will go back to the distance formula, d is equal to rt in the table, Distance and rate are already given, so that means we need to solve for the time. Manipulating the formula, time is now equal to d over r. Constructing the fourth column, time, for with the wind row, 
time will be 2,575 or the distance over the rate 500 plus x. For against the wind row, that will be 2,425 over 500 minus x. Next, we will now formulate our working equation. According to the problem, the airplane can fly 2,575 kilometers with the wind and 2,425 kilometers against the wind at the same time. This means that the expressions we had in the column time should be the same. So our working equation now will be 2,575 over 500 plus x equals 2,425 over 500 minus x. At this point, we may multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD or use cross multiplication. Here we will use cross multiplication since that is easier. The denominator 500 plus x will be multiplied to the right side numerator 2425 and the denominator 500 minus x will be multiplied to 2575. After this, we will distribute 2,575 to the binomial 500 minus x. 2,575 times 500, that is 1,287,500. Then minus 2,575 times x or 2,575x. Now for the right side, 2,425 times 500. The product is 1,212,500, then plus 2,425 x. Next, we need to combine like terms. Here, we will transpose negative 2,575 x to the right side. That will become positive. 2,575 x plus 2,425 x is 5,000 x. For the constant term, 1,212,500 will be transposed to the left side. It will become negative. Now, 1,287,500 minus 1,212,500, the difference is 75,000. Solving for x, we will divide both sides by 5,000. x value now is equal to 15. Hence, the speed of the wind is 15 kilometers per hour. Now, to check if this value is correct, we will substitute this in our working equation. 2,575 over 500 plus 15 equals 2,425 over 500 minus 15. 2,575 divided by 515 is 5. 2,425 divided by 485 is also equal to 5. Therefore, the value 15 is correct. For our third example, a number problem, the denominator of a fraction is 3 more than the numerator. If both numerator and denominator are increased by 2, the resulting fraction is 2 over 3. Find the fraction. For this item, we will assume that n will be the numerator of the fraction. For the denominator, since according to the problem, it is 3 more than the numerator, we will set this as n plus 3. The fraction now can be written in the form n over n plus 3. For our working equation, we will apply the conditions stated in our fraction. It says here that if both the numerator and the denominator are increased by 2, the result is 2 thirds. So here, we need to add 2 to n and quantity n plus 3 then equate it by 2 third. Thus, the equation is quantity n plus 2 all over the quantity n plus 3 plus 2 equals 2 third. Simplifying the denominator, that is equal to n plus 5. Next, we will perform cross multiplication. That will be 3 times quantity n plus 2 equals 2 times quantity n plus 5. By distributive property, 3 times n is 3n, then plus 3 times 2 or positive 6. On the right side of the equation, 2 times n is 2n, 2 times 5 is positive 10. To solve for n, 
Here, we will transpose 2n to the left side. That will become negative 2n. For positive 6, we will transpose that to the right side. It will change its sign. That will become negative 6. Evaluating the terms, 3n minus 2n is equal to n. Then equals 10 minus 6, the difference is equal to 4. Thus, the numerator is equal to positive 4. For the denominator, we will add 3. Since that is 3 more than the numerator, it will be positive 7. Hence, the original fraction is 4 over 7. Now, to check if this is correct, again, we will use the working equation. Quantity n plus 2 all over quantity n plus 5 equals 2 thirds. Since n is equal to 4, left side will be 4 plus 2 or positive 6 over 4 plus 5 or 9. Simplifying 6 over 9, that is equal to 2 thirds. Thank you for watching. God bless.